Hello, everyone. Welcome, and thank you for joining us. Melissa Rodriguez here with Christina Winsey. And we thought we'd pop on and do a little power chat today on the law of attraction. And as most of us here know, it's about the law of attraction is the belief that positive or negative thoughts produce positive or negative life experiences. And it's not just the thoughts we're having, it's our focus, attention, energy, and how we're feeling. Um, and this is happening throughout your day, friends. Throughout your day, you're having all of these thoughts. Um, I was uh, driving earlier and I was noticing where my thoughts were going. So we want to encourage you today to pay attention to where your thoughts are at and how you're feeling and what you're feeling about, what you're giving your energy and focus to, as that is putting out an energetic signal and attracting back on a like frequency and vibration into your day. So it was raining here today, it still is. And I was thinking how many people might, you know, look at the rain and think, oh, what a yucky day, you know, and kind of bring that yuck feeling into their day, right? And so many times we do this without even realizing what's happening within us. Yes, totally, totally. Yeah, this is uh, what we wanted to do is pop on and help you learn how to turn your thoughts around because so often, Excuse me. So often we do go on automatic. You know, we just we wake up, we have things to do, we get ready, whatever it is that we we need to do for the day, whether it's work, whether it's family, whatever, and we're not really being conscious of what our mind is focusing on. And Michael Lozier, who wrote the book The Law of Attraction, um, he says, first of all, get rid of don't not and no, mm. because the subconscious doesn't hear those. It only hears what you say. So if you say, I don't want, it hears, I want. And he also says, and so does Abraham, that this is an inclusive law. It is there, you cannot exclude anything. So the, the law, it's not like I'm cooking breakfast and the law of attraction is on hold. It's not <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's always working. <laughs> exactly. It's you cannot working. put it on hold. So you need to be conscious of your thoughts. And this is the practice. This is the practice. So uh, you were talking about some thoughts earlier that, you know. Yeah, some common ones um, from all the negative programming that we've received. So um, you know, I wanted to speak into two that it's more than just our conscious thoughts, the ones we're aware of. It's also what's happening in our unconscious and subconscious. And so if you're consciously thinking of, you know, something you desire, and then you're going back to going about your day, but you have all these deep rooted beliefs that you're feeling about energetically in your being, those are sending out a signal contradicting what you're desiring. So we really dive deep into this at Becoming Abundantly You, and we're just popping on for a quick power up, but this gives you some things to consider. What are your deep beliefs going on within? Um, and if you're having thoughts like, I can't, I'm not, I, I never, um, anything along those lines, that's a signal that there are definitely deep beliefs going on within that are negative, potentially, you know, tied to old stories and situations that you're completely unaware of. Um, and the power of being able to recognize um, that you're having those thoughts. And how do you know um, by paying attention to what you're thinking and by paying attention to how you're feeling. If you're feeling in a lower vibration state, not feeling happy and good, basically, um, then there's some negative thoughts and beliefs going on within and our feelings and emotions and moods, how amazingly designed we are, right? It just, it's so beautifully designed that they let us know something inside of us actually needs attention, that we have stuff going on inside that needs attention. Um, and you each have the power to change that, to reprogram your thoughts and beliefs. And with repetition and commitment, this is possible to do. 
And then it becomes second nature and you reprogram new, healthier ways of thinking, feeling, and being, um, which helps you to show up empowered in your life. And it, it takes you to this whole other level of experiencing life as well. I, I love what you touched on, Christina, when it comes to saying something like, I don't want to be late. All that energy is putting out is late. Mm -hmm. Erase the I you know, I don't want or I want, and it just, the vibration that's being put out is what you're really feeling about. You're really feeling about late. Um, and hi, Sarah, thanks for joining us. Um, so yeah, it's really powerful to, you know, identify the things you're saying, the things you're thinking, what are you speaking into your life and talking about, because when you're saying, I don't want this, or say you're single and desiring partnership, and you're thinking, I really don't want somebody that lies and cheats. Well, you're just putting out lies and cheats. That's the energy vibration that you're feeling about in that moment. And that is really the key, friends. It's about what you're feeling about. So instead, you can flip that to, I'd really love to meet someone that values honesty and faithfulness and commitment, right? You, you know, I, I, Abraham talks about, you touched on that you could be saying the positive, but the subconscious is the belief of the opposite. And so somebody might say, well, how do I counteract that? Because it's subconscious. I don't know what it is. But what you know, that's some of what we teach in Becoming Abundantly You. Mm -hmm. um, and we go deeper in our courses. Um, but here's the thing. Abraham, I have a, a series of uh, CDs that I had bought a long time ago when we used to use CDs. Um, and Abraham talks about pivoting in one of the mm -hmm. earliest CDs. Yeah. So what you're talking about is pivoting from the negative to the positive. Now, just because you have a negative belief in the subconscious doesn't mean that it will prevent you from manifesting at all. It, it just, you know, the more you say the positive, if you're paying attention, you will hear that belief. And if you do journaling, you will, you will go, Oh, I don't really believe it. It's kind of like you're driving and a red light and you go ah! and, and you go, oh, oh, I'm that belief is is in my subconscious and it comes conscious because it's saying mm -hmm. you're saying the positive and it's saying, oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> and eventually when you're really focused, you can hear it. You can feel it because Absolutely. in your gut you're not believing the positive that you're saying. And this mm. is why you have said before in one of the other times that we went live, you talked about not to do your visualizing and, and such until you are in alignment with what it is you want to manifest. So how do you get into alignment? And we go deeper into that too. And you know, uh, we could be here for hours. <laughs> Absolutely. And we'd love to be. We'd love to be. We'd love, we'd love to be. coming live to talk to you all and to connect with you all and to share um, because we're so excited about everything we're talking about together and experiencing and sharing that with all of you. What has made the biggest difference in our lives? Um, applying the teachings and that really is key um, practice and habit and then like you said it's it becomes um your new way of being and existing and you're aligned in that energy and and that really is what it's about when you so the feeling of abundance right the feeling of abundance is the feeling of more than enough and overflowing abundance of joy you can feel it bubbling up when you like stop to think about it the abundance of love you can feel it energetically in your heart space when you really tap into feeling it um so the abundance of good feels super good and when you're aligned in that energy you're aligned with all the good you desire so it's it's the mindset it's the focus it's the daily practices and habits and what you're applying in your life it's what's happening in your mind, your body, your spirit, um, and your total well-being, right? 
Yeah, and um, you know, and again, I'm going to quote Abraham, not exact words, but it, it's there's so much that comes out of the Abraham videos and tapes and things. And it's, it's if you don't feel abundant because mm. the goal or the intention you've set is specific to a certain amount of money, um, you have to find the feeling behind being abundant that that is with something else so that you can feel the feeling. What do I mean? So you see your bank account and it doesn't say what you want it to say. And that mm. is contrast, as Abraham says, the contrast is showing you what you don't want, but you need to focus on what you want. Well, every time you think about your bank account, if you're feeling bad, don't think about your bank account. Absolutely. Well, what do you do instead? You find ways to feel what abundance feels like for you. And for me, it's freedom. For me, it's a yeah. feeling of I can do what I want when I want. I have all that I need. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that Abraham suggested to, to one of the people at the, the seminar was look at the blades of grass. Mm -hmm. Right now, look behind me at this, this um, CGI. You've got how, how many fronds on this palm? How many, how many drops of water are coming through these waves? Mm -hmm. So that's abundance. And when yeah. you get into nature, get off the computer, get into nature, mm. and you will find abundance everywhere. And then you feel that feeling. That's how you stay high vibe, not looking at your bank account, watching the pot and seeing if it's going to boil. Yeah. It's not I love what? that analogy. A watch pot never boils. Take your attention off of it. If something doesn't feel good, pause and go do something that does. I love that. Go watch a funny video, you know, yeah. go put on some happy music and dance around. I think I posted this earlier Yeah. because it is so key when we are aligned to feeling good. Absolutely. That is, and in the release too, right? Yes. Um, to ask, believe, I mean, asking, you know, you want to know exactly what you desire and why and, and details and how it's going to feel to have it. And then with the ask, release it and let it go and just believe it's on the way, open to receiving the inspiration yes. and ready to take action when the opportunities come, when, you know, the right people align and they will when you're living in a place of faith. And that's something that we need to exercise to, you know, um, reach next levels of faith. So I think we've talked about this together before where if you don't have the faith to receive a million dollars, if that's what you really desire, um, then it's a matter of identifying where you are and what your beliefs are around it and whatever that is that you desire. We're just using this as an example. Um, and then exercising your faith and letting it grow and start from where you are. Well, what could you believe that you could receive? Anybody could believe that right. you could receive a cup of coffee or a call from a friend or, mm -hmm. You know, so it's a matter of practicing and have fun with the teachings, right? Isn't that like such a powerful part of it? It's about it's enjoying totally. the now and having fun with the teachings. And we love to get a little silly and have a lot of fun. <laughs> like I'm going to get very silly yeah. because uh, I, I sang a little ditty to Melissa earlier yeah. that uh, is about well-being because in your body, all of your cells are always listening yeah. to what you're telling yourself. So self-love and self-care are very yeah. important for your health. So there's this little ditty that I want to share with you that will make you feel silly, but it will also talk to your cells. So you ready? Ready. <laughs> Every little cell in my body is healthy. Every little cell in my body is well. I can tell every little cell, every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is healthy. Every little cell in my body is well. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> and, and ditties, little ditties are how you you bypass all the crap in your mind. It just feels silly and say good things to yourself. 
I did want to announce that on the 13th of October, we will be having an emotional freedom technique course, a three day crash course uh, to uh, tap away the disbeliefs about abundance mm. and to really uh, own the feeling of abundance. It's free. It's going to be, you know, live into the group, but it's also going to be a special event that we're going to have uh, posted. And uh, again, it's an, an hour Wednesday, the 13th, Friday, uh, Thursday, the 14th and Friday, the 15th. We're going to be doing all sorts of good stuff. So uh, just wanted to announce that. So and good. I'm so excited for that because tapping has been hugely powerful for me to move through stuff where I felt like I was super stuck and, yeah. you know, really be able to just move through it and past it. So I'm super excited that we're going to be sharing that with everyone. If you're ready for transformations and shifts and breakthroughs, make sure you join us for that. It's going to be really powerful. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you everybody for tuning in or watching the replay. We hope you've gotten some benefit out of this and don't forget your ditty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, reprogram your thoughts and beliefs in a positive and fun way. Whatever you're desiring, I'm sure we could make up a jingle for it. <laughs> We're expecting great things with and for you all. Sending out so much love.